I've already extolled the virtues of sequences. But there are other things fundamental to computation as well. And one of them is called a dictionary. And a dictionary allows you to associate values with keys. So to create a dictionary, you use curly braces. And what you do is you associate with some key, in this case i, a value, in this case 1. And by separating by commas, I can associate multiple different values with different keys. So right here, I've described part of the Roman numeral system, which is an association between capital letters and numbers. Now, I evaluated this expression. It created a dictionary for me. Notice something wild happened. This one looks different from this one. And there's a reason for that. Dictionaries don't have an order inherently. They establish a relationship between x and 10, and v and 5, but they don't establish any fixed relationship between v and x. And so Python's free to shuffle them around however it chooses. OK, so let's call this numerals. And numerals is this association. And if I select an element, what I'm going to pass in instead of an index is a key, at which point I can get the value associated with that key. Now, I cannot go the other way around. 10 is not a key, it's a value. OK, so now we know the basic functionality of dictionaries. You create them with a dictionary literal, which separates by commas, key value pairs that are separated by colons. And then, using element selection, you can select a key, and it will give you back the value. There are a few more things you can do. You can look at all the keys. And these are the dictionary keys, x, v, and i. And you can look at all the values. You can also look at all the items. And those are the key value pairs. Now, if you had this list right here of items, you could actually build a dictionary out of it just by calling the dict constructor, at which point you could look up x in there and it would give you 10. Now you can ask Python if a particular key is in a dictionary. So x is in there, and x-ray is not. If you want to get out the value for a key, but you're not sure it's there, and you want to supply a default instead, you can use the get method. So if I get x with a default of 0, it will give me 10, because x has a value. But if I get x-ray, it will give me 0, the default. Two more things that I'll show you. There's an expression called a dictionary comprehension, which is like a list comprehension. I won't go through the details of its execution procedure, but I will show you how it works. So let's say I want to associate x with, this, with x squared for some x in a range. Let's say the range up to 10. I've just created a dictionary where the keys are the elements in range 10, and the values are that number squared. So if I call this squares and I look up the square of 7, I should get 49. Now there are some restrictions on dictionaries. You can't have the same key twice. So if you do, it will just throw out one of your elements. And that's part of the design of what dictionaries are. You get one value per key. Now, instead of having the same key twice, it's fine if I have a sequence of multiple values for a given key. Because this is really just one value. It's a sequence. It contains other values within it. However, I'm not allowed to use lists or dictionaries as keys. So I can't write the list containing one is associated with two. And I'll get this error, unhashable type. I wish I could tell you exactly what that means, but I'm not allowed because I have to leave some topics for future classes, like 61b. So 
Just accept that you can't put lists as keys. You cannot put other dictionaries as keys. And uh, that's just a constraint of the language. So dictionaries associate values with keys. They're unordered, so don't rely on the order that you put things in because it will not be maintained. Keys cannot be lists or dictionaries or any mutable type in the language. We'll talk about what that means soon. Two keys cannot be equal because you can only have a key once. This first restriction is tied to how dictionaries are implemented. And the second one is part of the design of what a dictionary is supposed to do. Like I said, if you want to associate multiple values with a key, put them all in a sequence. 